having a look. After Peugeot now at the competitor Renault and a look behind the scenes at the semi-automatic gearbox which Renault has been using on the clears. We're on board with Philippe Bogalski. Let's hear what's happening. Well, this little lever was one of the big talking points of the 1993 French Rally Championship when Renault decided to use the semi-automatic gearbox for the first time in the Limousin Rally last October. The system has been developed by Renault Sport and by Magnetti Morelli. It's based on a normal gearbox, but the lever is automatic and it has a hydraulic uh, shifter which is grafted onto the gearbox. Philip Bogalski explains to us how it works. And I have a small lever near the steering wheel, I pull it up for gears, and then I push it down for down gears. To start the car, I put it in first gear, just as you do on a normal car, and use the clutch pedal, still have it. Little screen shows me which gear we're in, and after that I just have to pull the lever to change up and push to go down, always on full throttle. Never take your foot off the throttle, you just brake as in a normal car. And you push the lever all the time without using the clutch pedal to select the gears. So, foot flat on the floor, with the throttle, just use the braking foot, changing all the time. Inboard with Bogalski. It also explains there's another two buttons here to select neutral, one on the top of the lever and the other is here on the other side, and that's for selecting reverse. We're going to reverse and I have to use the clutch pedal. In fact, the screen shows nine reverse, confirming it's selected, and it goes back to neutral. I pull it for first gear. Je tire vers l'arrière, première, et on peut repartir. Well, that's how we go. Well, the semi-automatic gearbox has a lot of advantages. They say you can put on the change gear twice as fast while keeping on full throttle. Preserves the engine because it doesn't change down if the RPM is already too high. You can't miss any gears, so that preserves the gearbox. Perhaps the most important thing on these rallies is that the pilot's less stressed concentrate 100% on driving. It's banned in Formula 1, but it's good for rallying. What's banned in Formula 1 is saying, well, of course, we're talking about active suspension there. Which is next on the list. We're well, at the first rally in Le Limousin. The semi auto Clio finished fourth. A very good result for a new system, particularly in such a small car. Been in, even better in race two. Second round of the champ championship at Le 2K for the car. Rebogowski finished third. Got himself on the podium. The first major problem came on its third rally, the Seven. Reliability problem regarding that lever. And Bogaski could finish only 12th on this event. Rally du Var, last round of the French Championship. Bukowski was unable to make much development progress. He retired on the first stage because of a temperature problem, nothing whatsoever to do with the gearbox. Nonetheless, a good result for a debuting system, this semi-automatic gearbox on the Clio. This winter they've been working on the reliability. 
and they're hoping to enter in the French Championship, having got the Monte Carlo Rally out of the way now. And hopefully looking for that first win in the French Championship for a new generation of rally car. Gauche à fond, ouvre. Gauche à fond, ouvre. 